Yo, what is up everybody? It's your boy Ryan Mahalik or Superstyle Gaming here, and I'm coming at you with something a little bit different today. We're doing the um, micro challenge. So if you don't know what the micro challenge is, it's a really fun challenge in BTD Battles where you go on the longest map in the game, uh, Battle River, or actually I don't know what this map's called. Um, put it in the comments down below if you know what it's called. I don't think it's called Battle River, but you go on this map, and you pretty much, the way to explain it is you can have one tower on the screen at the same time. Currently we have two, but that's just because these rounds are really easy. We're just trying to, trying to get through these rounds as quick as possible. But later in the game, you have one tower on the screen at the same time and you micro the abilities um, to kind of destroy the AI and you can see how long you survive. So the towers we're bringing to this are the ninja to Sabo, to like slow down the balloons of course. You have the boat to boat pull the BFBs. You have the sub and that's really good to break down the like ZOMG layer so then you can boat pull all the BFBs. And then you have the ace for the balloons and the MOABs. Now lots of you are probably thinking right now, doesn't the sub just solo ZOMGs? Like can't you just only do it with the sub? The thing is, after round 30, or round 30, start, starting round 30, the ZOMGs actually get ramped in health really quickly. So, um, that's why the, what's it? That's why you can't just use a sub to solo everything. Eventually you'll start taking six, seven um, sub abilities to break down the ZOMG layer. And then you have to bow pull all the BFPs inside. So it gets really difficult really fast. <clears throat> the current world record in this micro challenge, I'm pretty sure is round 66 held by Agulio. Um, he's got some really quick micro. So congrats to him. My boy Hoopin has round 65 micro challenge. The guy I'm facing right now is Murray River. We did a video earlier. He said his personal best is round 63, which is really good as well. My personal best, I think, is round 58. Hopefully we can beat that today. But they call me Slow Micro Mahalik for a reason. I'm not the best at this type of stuff, but we're trying it. We're going to try our darn best to keep up with Murray here. So we'll see how we can do. This um, reactor also is just insanely good on this map, so we're going to be able to chill with our defense for a long time. You want to try to get up to around 15,000 eco or so, I think, roughly, and then that's enough um, eco to kind of carry you through all of the abilities you'll be microing later in the game. Also, um, a side note, the loadout and like, the order that you have your towers is actually really important. I put my ninja up top. So now I can just quickly get the Sabo going. I have my boat here. It doesn't really matter where your boat or sub is, but you kind of want them in the middle. So then you can use their abilities and like pull it to the water really quickly, if you guys see that. And then I lastly got my um ace down here so then I can kind of pull it to this area to use the ground zero. So that's why the like placement is pretty important. So then like, it's easier to micro the towers. I'm pretty sure this is the best loadout of four towers for the micro challenge. There's been other loadouts that I've seen, like people have used Ninja, Ice, Super, and then Boat, I think. The Super ability was pretty good because it has splash damage so it could hit multiple ZMGs. And then of course you have double stall along with pulling the BFBs with the Boat. You can't really go Ice with, um, my loadout though, because you need the ace for the balloons, since nothing else would really handle the balloons. But yeah. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content so far. I'm trying my best to improve for you guys, so. Also, um, I will be making an arena video soon. If you want to, um, arena video for BFB boosts only, play till I lose, so it could be like 20 minutes, it could be 2 hours, I don't really know, I haven't played arenas in a long time, so I think that would be lots of fun, so I hope you guys look forward to that video, but yeah, we both have specters down just to kind of anti-stall the rounds harder, we just want to make these rounds fly by, you don't really have to start tryharding your micro, or like, you don't, the micro challenge doesn't really start till round 43 ZMG or 42 ZMG. So till then, we're just going to kind of spam towers and anti-stall these rounds. 
that will show you guys a bit of Ace Micro. I don't really know anything. Um, the only thing I know is you triple tap the, the path and it just keeps it on the top. As you guys see right... Oh, I even messed it up. Okay, look at that. But you triple tap and it'll keep it on this top loop. So that's actually really useful on a lot of maps. Like for example, this map would be really useful because there's so much coverage of that top loop. Whereas if it was doing the whole figure eight when it's at the bottom loop, the coverage is not very good. You can also kind of change the timing of your triple tap to make it um do the top loop a little bit smaller and that type of stuff. Kind of just warming up my micro right here. It's a bit cold right now. Like, if I put my micro on a scale, like a temp, what's it called, a thermostat, it's like lukewarm at the moment, I would say. I kind of would like it, um, I kind of like it like Starbucks hot chocolate right out of the drive through window. That's kind of where I want my micro on a temperature scale. So we're going to try to warm it up a bit before we kind of need it. The micro challenge starts to get difficult like mid to early around 50s. So that's why um, I kind of use these rounds beforehand to warm up my micro. But there isn't much micro to warm up, as I said before, because slow micro Mahalik over here. This might look fast to some of you guys, but compared to like other pro players or like people who are really popular in the scene, my micro is really slow in comparison. Also, I really like to have left side because I am left handed and I'm on mobile, so dragging with my left hand the tower is so much easier. I think Asian's done this before. I'm not sure what Asian's um, record is though. So if you're watching this video, Asian Sensation, please comment down below your micro challenge record and we'll see if we can beat it. But Asian's got some pretty nice micro too, so I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to beat him. And yeah. <clears throat> but so far we're doing some pretty, pretty good. I'm gonna get a bit more eco. Probably go to like 17K or so. Um, we probably already have more than enough. I'm just being careful, you know. Also, we are using boost only powers. Sometimes people do this with powers and they bring like um balloon snipe, but we're doing tier zero. As bare bones as it gets. So hopefully we can still pull out a pretty nice micro challenge. I think it will be fun. And I hope you guys do enjoy the video. For sure um yeah I think that I'm just gonna cut it here and probably hop back and talk to you guys again when it gets to around like 42 or so and we actually start microing so until then I will um cut you guys there am I still recording by the way yes I am okay 37% on the device we're solid I'll catch you guys later we're back for a bit I just wanted to show you guys something real quick so Something you might not know is the sub, the reactor ability actually has infinite pierce, which is really crazy for a tower that costs about $4,000. As you can see, this is round 32 AI, and with the Sabo just to slow down the balloons, it can actually solo all of the ceramics. No problem too. So that is something really crazy about the reactor is that it's got infinite pierce, which is really crazy. But yeah, there isn't really much micro still going on. Obviously, still early in the game. Still kind of warming it up a bit. Uh, as I said before, we were like lukewarm earlier. Now we're kind of like hot chocolate sitting in your car for like five minutes after you've ordered it. We aren't really at the point where we want it yet, but we're getting there. And also, microing in this pool is a bit slower because... You've got to get more precise placements, so just a side note there. And yeah, um, I will catch you guys once again when it gets a little bit more interesting, so I'll see you guys then. Alright, we are back at it boys. 
now it is round 40 so we are actually micro challenging this now um so yeah if my commentary isn't the best right now it's because i will be focusing up to try to micro pretty hard so of course right now it's nothing too bad just some boat pulls into ground zero but it will just increasingly start getting harder and harder. Of course, we want to um, sabo at the beginning of the round to permastall all of the balloons. And then we're just going to bow pull all of these BFPs. You could honestly ground zero them as well. That is entirely possible. But bow pulling is pretty fun. So looks like he's going to go the ground zero route. Round 42. Got some ceramics. We're just going to ground, ground zero that. All right, let's see if we can bow pull these. Oh, slow micro Mahalik. All right, yeah, I give up on the bow pulls. Looks like he's not really micro challenging yet, which is fair enough. It's not really too bad right now. So he's fine just specter spamming until later, but. All right, round 43 is the OMG. Here you're gonna see how many, um, three, four, five, Okay, I used one extra by accident, but yeah. It looks like the next round actually came out. Interesting. And we're gonna just gonna ground zero these. So that took four um, sub abilities to actually. And you always wanna use your try to use your sabos before the round starts, just because. Um, if stuff is permastalled, it makes it so much easier. Okay, looks... Oh, crap. Looks like there's ZMGs coming. You want to focus on the ZMGs, even though that there's faster balloons on the screen. Okay, my micro is so bad right now. This is not good. We need to start warming this bad boy up. Our micro's not looking too hot right now. We got some ZMGs. Now we're gonna bow pull. Make sure to perma stall. Crap, why are my placements are so bad right now? I haven't done this in so long. My finger's already hurting too. I am not built for the micro challenge, guys, but we are gonna keep trying this our darnest. I don't wanna drop like around 52 micro challenge. That would just be embarrassing, so. Dude, I, oh my gosh, this is terrible. Come on. Bow pull. Sabo. Oh, that's not purpose sabo. Oh well.
As you can see, it's not perma sideboard, which is not good. Dude, why is my micro so bad right now? He's literally just chilling over there because he doesn't want to stall the rounds for me, but... At least it's perma sold. <clears throat> oh, I didn't even use the ability there. I won! What? Yes, sir! Round 54, that was pretty bad. I'm sorry for that, boys, but... 
Oh man, that was that was scary. I was so close to dying there. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video at least. Um, yeah, that was something. I'm definitely not made for this challenge, but it definitely helps with your gameplay because micro is a huge part of the game. So if you did enjoy um, Slow Micro Mahalik try harding the micro challenge, then make sure to drop a like, drop a comment too, and subscribe as well. We are growing as a channel. I'm trying to reach that monetization point. So every subscription helps. I thank you guys so much for watching and yeah, peace out. Everyone have a splendid day.